Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is July 12th, and right now we're looking at the visible satellite imagery. We're going to scroll back towards yesterday and take a look at that marine layer bouncing around. You can see we've got the return to some of this monsoon moisture creeping back into the region. This is going to have lightning potential over the next few days for some areas. We're going to take a look at that in some detail. It could be sparking some fires, so we got to watch out for that as well. Now let's scroll back in the overnight hours into this morning. You can see that marine layer all the way up and down the California coastline, and again, so that monsoon moisture kind of around here and we're going to take a look at what that is going to do over the next couple of days as we go through the video this morning. This is the National Weather Service current hazards. You can still see we're dealing with some excessive heat for today and probably on into tomorrow for some areas, but we are going to back these temperatures down. I mean, it looks kind of like a pink rotten fruitcake here across a lot of the southwest and the pretty impressive heat wave across much of the west coast here. A lot of record highs fell, a lot of all-time record highs uh, fell for places like, for example, Palm Springs hitting 124, their all-time record high ever in Las Vegas at 120, beating their all-time record high by three degrees. Impressive heat wave here across much of the region, and, and you know the record highs have been falling across a lot of the valley areas here as well. Now, taking a look at this uh, heat wave goes through Saturday, according to the National Weather Service, is updated this morning here, and you can see some pretty impressive temperatures. But again, we are going to be dropping these back down here over the next few days, and of course, we continue with the ele elevated fire risk here. This was updated yesterday morning from Los Angeles National Weather Service, but still applies. And here we go with San Diego. So check it out. You can see the coastal areas, of course, cooler here, but still pretty warm inland, but not the excessive heat or quite as bad anyway for places like Palm Springs and Thermal out there. And you can see the highs for Saturday, 111, dropping down to 110. And then we've got thunder, chance for measurable rainfall here on Saturday. It does even include some of the metro areas, Los Angeles, San Diego here. But of course, the better chance is going to be across the higher terrain. Not a lot of precipitation associated with these, but there could also be some dry lightning strikes and some fire starters out there as well. This is Reno, Nevada heat hazards. You can see the excessive heat warnings, red flag warnings, heat advisories are just all over the place. Fire weather watch for some individual areas as well. And this is Las Vegas National Weather Service talking about the monsoon is coming back. So strong wind gusts, isolated flash flooding under the stronger storms, mainly across portions of Arizona, maybe up towards Utah. But watch out for those lightning strikes. Now what is going on here? You can see the ridge kind of centered a little bit further west currently, but this is slowly back and up. That's what's going to allow for that monsoon moisture to kind of come back up across the region here as we're, you know, heading on into this weekend. And then as we go on into the future here, uh, it, the, the ridge is still here, but we're going to cut off this monsoon moisture here as we go on in towards next week. Taking a look at the European mean sea level pressure. So I want to show you something here really quick. You can see we've got this little very weak low pressure center here, not even really a low, uh, just, just a little bit of a trough here, helping to steer some of that moisture northbound here. And if we scroll on a little bit further, you can see that kind of goes away right at the end of the run. And we're going to kick that monsoon moisture out as we go on in towards the mid portion of next week. If we take a look here, this is the National Bed of Models. This is precipitable water, and this is issued hot off the presses this morning. And if I put this into motion here, you can kind of see that moisture ebbing and flowing here and pushing up. And you can see that very weak dropping here, allowing for this monsoon moisture to move up and across portions of California as well. Again, it's going to favor the higher terrain, but you cannot rule out some light strikes for other areas including some of the coastal range as well up and down central and southern california and then as we scroll on in through sunday you can kind of see that continue to bring some of that monsoon moisture across the region taking a look at the composite reflectivity on the high resolution rapid refresh this is what the doppler radar may look like here over the next two days and if i scroll through today you can see some of these showers rolling up here again across california towards las vegas portions of arizona central nevada here and portions of utah and then we go on in towards friday night into saturday morning and again Again, you can see some of these higher base storms coming across the region. By the time we go to our Saturday, towards Saturday afternoon, look at the southern Sierra Nevada, maybe some of the transverse ranges kicking off thunderstorms. Some of these could try to drift out over the valleys here, or again, the coastal ranges here of California, up across Nevada, the Sierra Nevada, maybe Lake Tahoe and Reno, some thunderstorm activity potentially over the next few days. Taking a look at lightning flash density potential according to the European model. So let's scroll through today, and you can see that really fire up here as we go through the afternoon hours. We wane that in the the overnight hours when we come back on Saturday. Again, another round of, across much of California possible. And then we go on in through Sunday morning and we come back into Sunday afternoon. And again, that monsoon moisture will be with us. And then it starts to kick off to the east a bit more as we go through Monday. But we could get a couple uh, lightning strikes across Sierra Nevada still. And maybe the Baja Peninsula here, the transverse ranges, uh, much more towards the peninsula ranges here, however, though, and across portions of Arizona. Now, looking at Sacramento, <clears throat> 
115 today and then we drop back down you can see these are at some pretty impressive drop coming up here so a little bit a lot more closer to average here coming up as we go through the weekend and on in through next week and this is modesto you can kind of see that drop off coming here by saturday and sunday as well this is for Reading municipal airport by the time we get towards sunday definitely cooling off towards around the 100 degree mark now looking at that on the national button models a daily max two meter temperature this is california of course and you can see for today the very warm temperatures still exist across much of the area and then we go to saturday and then sunday monday tuesday you can see look at that tuesday there's some 90s starting to show back up here a uh, very welcome relief from the just oppressive heat across much of the area look at wednesday even some mid 90s here for maybe sacramento maybe even some of the lower 90s showing up there as well thursday friday saturday sunday we might try to bring that heat back to go through the following weekend a little bit here we'll keep our eyes on that on a daily basis for sure and this is looking at the European. It's, we're not talking about a lot of precipitation coming here over the next several days, but it does show that, especially across the Sierra Nevada and some of the higher terrain here as well. A lot of these are not going to be big time precipitation producers, but they could again have that dangerous and the fire causing lightning strikes. Looking at the significant wave height, you notice as I scroll through here, you can kind of see the predominant direction out of the northwest there. And as we go through the end of the weekend and towards next week, we kind of cut down on that wave height a bit there across some of the coastal areas. So t typical summertime stuff as far as the coastal areas areas are concerned then you can see the winds pick up maybe on in through the following weekend there now looking at sea surface temperature this has been changing a little bit if we go back towards um, let's go back towards April and we'll go on into uh, to May here and then you can see as we go on in towards June there were a period of June where we had some of the sea surface temperatures that were below normal here for a lot of the coastal areas but we've kind of turned the flip the switch on here on that a little bit here and you can see kind of some above average signal here for temperature anomaly along the coastal regions even across Southern California and if I scroll here you can see relatively speaking of course the water is still pretty darn right chilly here off the coast of California a little bit warmer as you get down towards Los Angeles and San Diego metros. Now looking at the fire potential here coming up. So the brown here is moderate risk. So don't sleep on that. For much of the area, it is moderate risk. And the L there means lightning threat here across Utah and portions of Nevada here. And you've got the H there means hot and dry conditions across Arizona. But look as we go towards Saturday. Look at all this region here susceptible to the dry lightning strikes and the fire starts here. So have your heads up. What's about you here? If you're especially across the higher terrain, you see some fire starting out there. You know those could spread rapidly. And there is Sunday, something similar there as well. And if we go on in towards Monday, that monsoon moisture should be starting to kick off to the east by that point. But anyway, yeah, interesting stuff coming up here. Fire season is upon us, no doubt here. And hopefully these uh, thunderstorms that get going don't start kicking off a whole slew of fires across the region here, which they very way, well may um, they have the potential to do so, so we really need to be careful with that coming up here. So anyway, we'll continue to watch this and break it down day by day best we can. I did have my procedure yesterday. I had a couple kidney stones blasted in there, and I'm feeling still a little bit groggy. You can probably tell in the way I'm speaking, maybe a little bit here, but still on some um, painkillers. And uh, yeah, but I think the th surgery went pretty well overall. It sounds like they got the stones out and whatnot, and I'm feeling a little bit better than I was yesterday. So anyway, hope you guys are liking these videos. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this all again tomorrow, and I will talk to you guys then.